Yo, what's good everyone? Today we're going to be reviewing my click tuning body kit including the over fenders that I got and a quick update on my E46 for what I've been doing on it. So lately, I haven't been filming for like months because I just really wanted to be working on my car. I did reinforce my self frame and replace all my bushings in my rear. And I'm going to give you guys the pros and cons of uh, the click tuning product that I have. So, here's my car. I'm still in the middle of uh, putting on my rear fenders. I still gotta do some more cuts, but let me do a quick walk around and show you guys what to expect. Here's the front over fenders. Let me close my hood. Actually, let me close it all the way. There you go. This thing, I still gotta secure properly, but. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm still in the middle of like working out all the kinks in the fitment. So, for my front wheel setup, I'm running work BSKFs 18 by 9.5 plus 7 up front. And taking into consideration this. Over fenders are plus 30 millimeters, and the fitment is pretty much flush at plus 7 offset. But I am running uh, 5 millimeter spaces up front, and for the rear, I'm running BSKFs 10.5 plus 7, and the fitment is going to be flush. My alignment right now is kind of fucked, but I get that sorted out later. So, the pros for this kit is it's fairly cheap um fitment is actually really good the only problem that you're probably going to run into and i'll show you right here for the rear over fenders this might bow out a little bit probably because it got worked during shipping but i noticed that if you were to just clinkle pin and secure this properly and double sided tape you should be good and it should shape up better. That's what I noticed. And actually, you know what? Let me show you guys right now. After I put the clinko pin spell back on. So once you have everything secure, you actually should be okay. It's a minimum gap here, but I think double-sided tape should fix this. So if it might be good. Now if you're going to be running the click tuning body kit with these over fenders, I have noticed that you will run into one issue. And it's going to be over here for the front side skirt. You see how there's a gap? Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out a way to make this flush. Either shave down this end or maybe add some fiberglass overlay. So yeah, that's going to be the only problem you're going to be running into with this kit. And everything else is good. Yeah, so my E46 has been down for months and I haven't been able to drive her, so I'm really excited. She's so close to being finished. I already got my diff welded, so pretty soon I'm gonna be able to hit the track and drift her, finally. And yeah, um, I think that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram if you guys wanna see more of this build, cause I post uh, way more over there than actually videos over here. And yeah, that's all I have. I uh, guess till next time, peace.